Okay, recording as of again. Uh, just be really careful bringing that in, please. Don't hit any cables or anything. So, this will be easier, it should be easier than the boys run. And the reason why is because we have the Shield Breaker. Uh, shield Breaker makes this fight much, much easier. Uh, I'm probably going to take double Shield Breaker. And we will probably just dominate this thing. Okay. Uh, let's see, we're probably going to take Squid out again. I did start recording, right? Yeah, we're good. Um, and we'll take Tet, I suppose. Is the shield breaker new? No, she's she's not new. I mean, I guess she's the newest, but no, she's been around for years. She has she has a DLC class, but she's been out for for several years. My daughter needed me to log her into something, so. Yeah, so she has her own uh, DLC, but. All right. Uh, so we're gonna make sure our raccoons already. Guess we'll get rid of clumsy. Nothing to lock in though. Uh, stress should be good on everyone. And let's see if there's anything we need to get off before the darkest dungeons. So anything at all that um. Could hinder us in the darkest dungeons. Kleptomaniac doesn't matter. There's nothing in there to steal. Um, Build phobe doesn't matter. We're not going to have the torch below 26, so that doesn't matter. Risk taker. We are going to take one of the risk taker hellions probably to darkest dungeon three, so that it has enough damage to routinely one shot the um, the stalk. So we want to leave that on at least one of them. So hard noggin is good as well. I think they're good. Uh, this looks good. Unquiet Mind doesn't matter. Uh, none of this matters either. There's a Risk Taker Hard Skin. They're an early riser on guard. <laughs> Prismatic Isolation. So, Solar is going to Dark Dungeon 3. Absolutely. Solar is going to Dark Dungeon 3. Let's see. Stress Eater could come bite us in the butt, so I'm going to get rid of Stress Eater. Uh, these do not matter. Those don't matter. I think we're actually pretty much good to go. Okay. Let's go kill the Garden Guardian boss. And then all we have left is the darkest dungeons. Crazy. Crazy. I don't even know why I looked in there. I already know they're all at five. Ah, uh, there's no camping in here anyway. Okay. So trinkets and then we are good to go. Uh, for squid, we are going to go all out dodge again so ancestors coats and wilbur's flag wilbur's flag mainly because there could there are going to be the chevalier on the way and we don't uh, we don't want her to get stunned on that tet we're gonna take the skull and the overture box and then finn and lucario uh we want to stack dodging them also i just wish that we could also get accuracy dodge and accuracy both but we cannot so uh, camo cloak them both. And then we can either go with max dodge plus a little bit of protection, or we can go with speed and dodge. They're already pretty fast. Speed's not going to matter against the boss itself. So I think we are probably just going to go with the, the two extra dodge and the 10% extra protection. Yeah, should be fine. All right, 
So as far as moves go, we're probably not going to use Captivate very much here, if at all. Um, our main moves that we're going to use, Pierce and Puncture and Serpent Sway. Uh, the other one that might come into play is Impale against some enemies. So let's go ahead and get Impale. And then we'll go level it up before we go. That's good. Squid's good. Oops. Impale's basically there. If we can use Impale to finish off an enemy that's already low and deal damage to everyone else, uh, it's the only reason we'll use it. But better in that place than, you know, Captivate. We don't need Captivate in here at all. Alrighty. <laughs> We got upgrades, dodge trinkets, skills, upgrades, dodge trinkets. We gotta make sure we bring the shard dust uh, skills. I'm always afraid I'm gonna bring crescendo to the overture. So I keep, always check that. Upgrades, dodge trinkets, uh, skills are good. Upgrades, dodge trinkets, skills are good. All right, let's do it. We're gonna go super prepared in here. There is no reason not to at this stage. Man, I wish I could get rid of that stupid key. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to bring some Aegis just in case. If things go badly, if we don't use them, we get to bring them home anyway. So it's not, it's not like a big deal to bring them in. Wait, so we got all the food... We got some shovels, uh, we got combat related stuff, we got torches for light and stress relief. Uh, we got shard dust, very important to activate her skull. So it only gives the dodge if we have shard dust in our inventory. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Let's go kill the garden guardian. Guardian guardian. Hopefully anyway. Never know. Do you have more dodge with this team than we did in the previous one? The very grounds themselves bit. are animated by a deep-rooted evil. Mm -hmm. A cosmic hatred for all that thrive beyond it. I don't even know why I'm doing this. So we're going to use a torch for every fight. So in the Crimson Court, if you use a torch, it gives you your characters plus three accuracy for their next battle only. So instead I'm giving you like, since you get blood light by default. Ancient traps lie in wait, unstrung and thirsting for blood. Use a shovel on that guy for loot. We don't need loot. Uh, we might as well get rid of the stress on her that she picked up from the trap. Okay. All right. So we really had to kill the flesh eaters. Flesh eaters are a little bit scary because they can give disease and there's no camp here. So we have no way to remove disease. Uh, I mean, we don't have a camp way to remove disease. The only way that we can remove disease is if we get the disease, then the person gets cursed or if they're cursed first, then they can't get the disease. How's that going? It's going pretty well. We just finished the Countess. And now we're uh, doing the Garden Guardian, and this is the last thing before the Four Darkest Dungeons. Unless Wolf or the Shrieker spawns. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And if Wolf doesn't spawn by the time we do the Darkest Dungeons, I'll probably just pass weeks after that until we get to him, so we can uh, we can kill him as well. Hopefully he spawns at some point. But we shall see. The boys got him relatively early. Well, comparatively to how on a the average week I usually have him spawn. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Yeah, we'll see. We'll we'll kill him either way, but. Might not be until after the, the initial run here. Well 
struck. Or we'll attempt to kill him, I should say. You never know. All right. Well, so we got the curse, which kind of sucks. She is our lowest dodge character. Another themed run. I have a few more Dark Dungeon runs I would like to do before, at least before Dark Dungeon 2 comes out. Uh, we're not 100% sure which one I'm going to do next. So when we beat this one, I'll probably take a short break from Dark Dungeon. Uh, maybe do a challenge for through another game that I'm uh, knowledgeable in, like RimWorlds. So I'm not 100% what I'm going to do after this one, as far as Darkest Dungeon is concerned, but I have a few things in mind. Huh. We have no one that's good at disarming traps. So... But this way we have an extra battle. Ugh, I'm gonna take the trap. Battle was actually probably safer in this scenario though. 75%, that's, that's, that's good enough, see? Never worried. Never worried. Good scout. Uh, you can get loot from that with the torch. We don't need loot. We don't need loot. All right, let's go get this boss. It's not gonna be a battle in this hallway. <laughs> That's crazy how many battles we got here in. We got to the boss in like what? Was it only one or was it two battles? Two battles, right? Got to the boss in two battles. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to stick with what we got. I mean, I might use this on her to get her dodge up higher faster if she's in trouble, but I don't, I don't think she's going to be. Highly doubt. Uh, I'm bringing this in the weird scenario that we have people die and she needs to bash some people from position one or two. Uh, all right. Made all these cannon ones without any battles at all. What? Really? That is really weird. Was it like a split map? So all the battles just happened to spawn in the split that was the short split? That's weird. I would have like thought the game was broken. <laughs> I would probably stop and verify files or something. For this thing that should not be. So it the entire mechanic the with this strong. boss fight, for those that haven't seen it, uh, if you want to see it played out with the actual the mechanics, you can go watch it on the boys run. Basically, the Garden Guardian is guarded by the shields. And if you, it has high protection. So you have to wait until the shield goes up into the air. Then when the shield goes up in the air, you can attack it. But he has like 240% all resist, high protection, all that good stuff. So you can't do a lot of damage to him, uh, but he's not guarded when the shield's up. However, if you destroy the shield, uh, he starts doing this crazy escalating damage buff, AOE, a laser eye attack, that is maybe like, I think if you leave him up long enough, it's probably the hardest hitting move in the game. It is an incredibly crazy move. So the mechanic is don't kill the shields, only attack him when the shield is up. And it's a very long fight. However, the shield breaker has a move where not only uh, can she remove guards, she can keep them from getting guarded again while that buff is on there. And she also pierces armor. So the shield breaker just destroys this fight. She completely gets rid of all the mechanics uh, and it becomes one of the easiest boss fights in the game. The difference is crazy. Pay to win. We got uh, pay to win going against the Garden Guardian. It's just, like I said, it's so different. This, this fight ended up being scary on the boys run. Uh, we had some pretty close calls. Got some really big hits. It went into... It might have went into like 20 plus rounds against him. I think it did. 
Or is the loop of interest in three prongs to get into? Unnerved. Give the boss first try. Very few hallways. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, one of them did get hit. Oh, we do have our dodge up, so. And she got a 28 crit heal off. <laughs> Lucario has been a really good character throughout this whole run. Finn's like, I can crit for 24 also. Yeah, we can just ignore the mechanics. Because of the shield breaker. It doesn't take two shield breakers. Uh, but because Pierce also bypasses the protection, and it doesn't matter which of the two come up first, they can remove the this. It's the safest and best way to mitigate the mechanic and kill him. I mean, technically, the Jester can bypass the protection, or I mean, the uh, guard, but he's not going to break it for other people. And then the Grave Robber can pierce his protection. But if she goes before the Shield Breaker is able to uh, get rid of the guard, she just has to chill and wait as well. So they can work. So if you're looking for some, like, good min maxi teams for this boss the reason for this boss is so you can farm crimson court trinkets so this boss is repeatable it spawns every week and going here and killing it will give you a crimson court uh trinket if you're looking for a team any team with a shield breaker especially double shield breaker with high dodge inspiration and improvement we'll let you farm these trinkets in no time I think we only got hit once so far. I really like the model in this fight, too. You know what? I'm surprised they haven't retroactively changed him like they did the cannon. So, Shieldbreaker countered the cannon really hard as well when she came out for the same reasons. She pierces protection, and before her, no one did. Uh, now, the Grave Rubber does as well, but before she came out, that wasn't the game. And so the cannon used to not have the buff. It used to have just high protection. And so she could just kill the cannon easily. A few rounds or something. So they changed it so that the cannon has um, damage reduction through a buff strike. instead. I'm surprised they haven't done the same thing for the Garden Guardian. How many people do you think have ever gotten the kill on the Garden Guardian with a Antiquarian? Probably not a lot. Or we're going to. It crumbles for now. But I fear there may be no community that grows. Uh, Alexa, thank you for the follow. Thank you, Alexa. Doo, 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 doo. Battle Vestal. No, thank you. Doo, doo. Why not hit continue? I don't know. Oh, you also overall awesome appearance background there is some mechanic wayne's dialogue is great yeah yeah it's a really cool boss i really like it the only downside is that the like i said the shield breaker just completely gets rid of all the mechanics it's like as you saw it was it was nothing like easiest boss fight if you have a shield breaker uh early riser over resilient is fine quick draw over musical is great because musical doesn't do anything for us precise striker over backtracker doesn't matter kofobe doesn't matter either when all your show breakers die i don't know um are you giving them defensive are you locking in defensive quirks and trinkets let me go ahead and stop the recording here